Hey guys, in this Wulong Fallen Dynasty Guide video, I'm going to share with you an in-game build that helped me to absolutely destroy Liu Bei. Liu Bei is a boss that flies around and fights primarily with lightning, so I created a build centered around countering lightning, and that counter is poison. Now, if you're new here, please sub to this channel with notifications on. I'd really appreciate it. Alright, so Liu Bei is lightning, wood, and according to the game's five phases, wood is countered by metal, and poison is metal in the game. So this build, armor, weapons, and witchery spells are geared toward counterattacking a wood-based enemy like Liu Bei. Now first, I'll start with my virtue stats. I'm level 122, and my wood virtue for this fight was at 20, my fire virtue at 15, my earth was at 10, metal 65, and water 15. Having a high metal as high as I can make it gives me more wood defense. Now I know the soft caps and the uh, other benefits that sort of decline after you hit the soft cap, but after fighting Liu Bei once, I decided that I needed wood defense as high as I could make it. Now if you're not quite level 122, it's fine, just make sure you have at least the soft cap in metal, which is 50. I would highly suggest going above and beyond the number if only for the wood defense. Now let's talk about armor next. The armor I'm using in this video is the Tianju set. I think I'm saying that right. I might be saying that wrong, but forgive me. It has decent wood resilience. It's not the best armor that I own for wood defense, mind you, but I enhanced it anyway because I thought it looked really cool with the feathers and everything, and because it does have resiliences in other stats. A lot of armor that I have, it just has resilience in one stat and nothing else. Now, to get this armor, I used my male character and raised my oath rig with Hong Jing. She's a female character, and I myself was curious what would happen if I raised her oath rank because obviously I won't be able to wear female armor as a male. Now Hong Jing is a wood lightning user, and the armor you get is the Tianju set, or at least that's the set that I got, which I assume is a male mirror of her set. This 4 star set comes complete with a 4 star weapon, the Jade Green Staff. Now for the armor, I upgraded it as much as I could and when it came to embedding skills, I made sure to replace existing skills for things like lightning resistance, damage to enemies with poison, poison accumulation on enemies, toxin attack power, negative status effect accumulation on myself. I put those upgrades on all 4 pieces of armor, making this set the perfect counter to any wood user. For the weapon with this battle set, I used the Jade Green Staff and a Gooting Blade. Now, I don't really like the Jade Green Staff as a weapon for this particular fight, so I just have it equipped so I can receive the Tianzu set bonus, which calls for the staff, and basically the full set bonus is more spirit damage to enemies with, you guessed it, a staff. For the fight, I mainly used the Gooting Blade because of its martial art thunderous impact. On the Gooting Blade, all that I was able to do was add damage to enemies with poison as a skill. Now for the spells, and it's these more than anything else that are what's really going to help you in the fight with Liu Bei if you're watching this guide and you're trying to fight Liu Bei. Now during trial runs, I noticed that if Liu Bei was poisoned, he couldn't attack with any of his elemental attacks, so the key is to poison him and to make sure he stays poisoned. The spells I'd use were Toxin Bubbles, this spreads poison on the ground in front of you, so if he comes close, which he will to melee attack you, he'll step in the poison. Toxin Weapon was a huge, huge help because I was able to enhance my Gooting Blade and then use the Thunderous Impact whenever he was in a corner to make absolutely sure that he was poisoned as often as possible. Venomous Discharge is like a ranged version of Toxin Bubbles and will probably be the main spell to use against him as he does his best to kill your NPC companions or people that you might be playing with. And then finally, Life Wither. This makes enemies receive more damage for a certain period of time. This to me seemed like common sense. Affect him with this and then damage over time ticks from the poison effect will kill him even faster and on top of that the ticks of poison absolutely raises his spirit meter so he can be broken more often making this one of if not the easiest fights that I've ever had in this game. The divine spirit that I brought with me in this boss fight was Ching Long, and honestly, I don't ever see a reason to use anything else but Ching Long unless there's another divine spirit that provides significant instant heals. I mean, there might be, I don't know. So if there is, let me know down in the comments, but for right now, I just don't see a reason to not use the healing divine spirit. All right, so what do you think about this build? Try it out on Lu Bei or any wood-based enemy that you might be fighting and come back and tell me if it helped. I want to thank so many of you who watch my videos for boss fight strategies and then come back to tell me how much they helped in the comments. I read each and every comment and I appreciate the feedback more than you'll ever know. 
As always, if this video was helpful to you, please do not leave without leaving a like. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. My name is Vinicius Sheehan. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.